I hope you enjoy this video. So you know, you can use the code Lachlan10 and save 10% on any of my instructionals through BGJ Fanatics. And you can use the code Lachlan to save 30% on the Grappler's Guide. If you use these links, it also helps me out. On guard passing this week, so Milo's on his back. Um, I just want to talk about trying to get uh, like ways of winning inside positioning on the on the entry to your to your guard pass. So we'll talk about against someone who's um, who's on their back and also someone who's who's seated. Okay. Um, so what I mean by that is like trying to find a way to to come in and get something like a headquarters or a, a, a pin on the inside of the of the leg here. Okay. There's a few ways we can do this, and it can be an ins actually I say inside positioning, like just good. Good positioning as we as we enter. I got my knee inside like this, which would be a good control. Or sometimes we'll be here, and I'll even just pin with my my outside leg as well, and that can often then give me a chance to come inside to, to position like this. Okay. So this is what I'm usually working for. So if Mille's on his back here, one thing we can look to do is just like start trying to. I, I don't want to reach too high usually because then he gets a chance to control my my sleeves. Yeah, okay. If you're reaching more towards the legs, it's a little harder for, for your opponent to take control of the, of the grips. So often if we can from here, I can start reaching towards the, the end of the leg with the legs, come my hand inside and start pulling the heel away from the butt. Okay. As soon as I do that, I get a chance to start bringing my, my leg inside and take control of it. Okay. So I'm often looking like this and opening that gap, okay? Once my leg's coming into that gap, how's he going to uh, cover that? He pulls his knee back towards his chest and he can start to... Okay, so often if we can, we then start coming in with our hand on top of the knee, right? So I've got my leg inside, hand on top of the knee. If I then, with my leg wide, I'm in with my knee forward here, so pinning over the top of the, the knee, or even onto the ground, uh, it's very hard for Mille to control me with that thing. So in terms of the first controls, who's won that first control battle, that should give us a good chance to win and that sets up a lot of different guard passes. Because my shin's here, like I got the chance potentially to work in towards half guard. I could keep moving around, start going to like Torando style passes. I could be working under the legs from here. Uh, you can even start working like leg drags on the far side, cross knee through. Yeah, so it sets up, it gives us a lot of openings by trying to work through this control. Uh, and it's one of the first controls you can look to, to get. Okay, so again, the first one, what we're going to do, it's going to start trying to make it. We're here, reach inside the, the heel and start just pulling away a little bit and step your foot to cover that gap. Okay. Right, so, okay. From there, insert your hand onto the knee and keep moving laterally until I extend that foot out. So Mille tries to get that back now. Be difficult and start driving my knee towards the ground and pinning in here like this. Okay. When you do this, you don't want to, I don't, I don't usually just want to pin like that because here he can use his foot on the ground, hip escape, and start to move. Okay. When I when I get my control, I want my like, foot hooked underneath like so. Okay. The meal I try to hip escape off that, you find it very difficult to use that way. So you can do the same thing either side, in fact, I recommend. Drilling this other side, just like we're here, reach behind the behind the heel, just pull it away a little bit. Step your leg inside, and we come in to block the knee. Dropping an inside knee, that uh, knee down. Let's practice that. All right, here. Let's go. Three, two, one. Ideally, with this, so like when I when I go here, I don't want to. I'd rather not be too far forward with the knee, so I want to stop, if I can, as soon as I catch here, I want to stop him pulling his knee to his chest. One, so he doesn't free his legs, but two, I don't want to come in like here. This is like, he could off balance me a lot easier here. He's got my weight like balancing on him. I'd much rather catch him here. Okay, now he's stretched out. My knee's kind of, like it's actually kind of hard for me like to pull his knee to his chest now because of the pressure I've got. Okay, but as much. There's actually gaps for me to, to pass into now. This here, I don't have much. To, I'm gonna try and knee cut or anything. It's closed off. Okay, so when you're doing your entries, like here, try to like once once we open the gap, we're trying to 
keep that guy open. Yes. Alright. Let's do some specific training. Uh, let's use this. We're going to practice a little bit from seated guard and then, um, and then we'll go from there. So I often look to that, get that, I like that, that same sort of control and I often look for it from a, a seated guard too. The thing I, I feel like you want to focus on here is if I reach with my hand first and he controls my arm, then I'm probably going to struggle within the, the battle. So I'll tend to lead with my head and keep my arms back. Get my, my head leading like this. Okay? And usually, usually if I, if I get a chance to from there, like I'll get in and I'll get something like this, which is good. Uh, like I'll connect to the lapel and I can then start looking to huddle, work for the legs and come in for, like as soon as I tilt him back, Start looking for that same inside positioning with my leg. Uh, often, what will happen as I start to come in, melee will start to frame on my. Like if I don't give him my hand, he'll often start pushing or framing on my shoulder. Okay. And then, as I start driving in, he tilts back. Okay. And then you should easily be able to do that same. As soon as you feel that, as soon as you see that foot start to lift, you should be able to come the hand in and start to get that same position. Yeah. This coming forward. Okay. I get my, my leg positioning ready to set up my, my cuts. Okay. Or if he doesn't push at all, and I come into here, then I might I might lead with my head, get onto a collar or something. Again, as soon as I feel I can go either side here, I'll put your feet inside. Maybe he's keeping his feet inside. I'll be looking to pummel my foot inside and catch that same. Uh, Right. So now we're going to do our entries, but, but let's also then work a passing sequence. A few different, depending on how they react. This is an advanced class, so you, should guys, you guys should know how to kind of have different pathways to, to pass. Generally, on the far leg, I'll try to keep my shoulder in front of the the inside of the knee, okay? Because that blocks the frame. Probably the worst thing that would happen is this leg comes in front, especially the foot. Okay, here he will push away and I'll actually lose my control on the leg. Right. If I can come in with my shoulder in the way yeah, that's going to give me an excellent chance to start like working in the knee cut, working underneath the legs, uh, and or even just working like across through half guard this way as well, to come on a pass like that. Okay. Only if, if the leg starts coming more in front of me, okay, now I'm starting to think like, can I smash the top leg like so? Leg drag, coming around, or maybe even like a long step out of the position too. Okay. So first try to like prevent that leg coming in. So do your entry, like so, like here. Uh, maybe frame on my shoulder, which is pretty common. Good. And let's work my entry, and I'm trying to stop that leg getting in front, okay, like I have now. Okay. If I can do that, I'll tend to work the pressure passes generally through half guard. If I go again, but this time he manages to get that, that leg in front. Yeah, good, like so. Then we're gonna have to start working off that. Okay. For me, probably the first one, the main one I would be looking for is pushing the leg between and starting to smash. And then if he actually starts making a bit more distance, then coming across the leg drags and or maybe long step. That's it, so. Okay. Makes sense? You guys feel it out a bit. One thing I want you to focus on is one, getting that position with your leg. Two, getting your shoulder in, in front of their leg at first. Three, two, one. I hope you enjoy this video. So you know, you can use the code Lachlan10 and save 10% on any of my instructionals through BGJ Fanatics. And you can use the code Lachlan to save 30% on the Grapplers Guide. If you use these links, it also helps me out.